Hello and welcome back to St. Peter's Layout. Today I'm going to do a review on the new Hornby Mark III's, uh, the sliding doors obviously. Uh, so let's get right into the video. Starting with the coaches, I'm going to start with the cross country set. I do have the other three in my room, but I just thought it would be best to have three on the layout for now uh, to do the review on and compare it to the GWR ones as well. So, as you can see, these coaches are absolutely amazing and Hornby have put a lot of detail in these coaches. To the new sliding doors, very picked out because they're pink on the cross country set. I am missing a coach and I think everyone else is. Uh, there are six coach sets on the main line, but they're mainly sometimes seven. Um, but the TGS is going to come out by the end of May, or should be the end of May this month. But it can make do for now, because the power cars also don't come out until June or July, which is quite delayed, because it's going to be coming out last year. These coaches are very, very well done to the detail on the new bogey part here. Printed yellow springs to the ETH and just on the other side of that, the power jumper cables. They do come with the Buckeye couplings installed already under here. And these coaches, all the new coaches come with um, some new Roco couplings, I think. I think that is right. Uh, but I think they sag too much. So I will be getting Hunt couplings to improve the gap between the coaches. This is the C coach of the set that I've got on today. I do have the... There is C, and then there's A, and there's B in the middle. So there's A, B, C, but in reverse. Um, these coaches are really nice. They do have uh, painted interiors um, properly, and you can see through the windows, unlike the old Mark III's slam doors. These coaches also don't have buffers, which is correct, because the new Mark III's don't have them, and I do believe the older Mark III's never had them either. But if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. So going to the C coach, as you can see, that is the buffet coach, which is very, very nice. You can tell it's the buffet coach, you've got the air vent and you've got the blanked out space here where there is no window also where the cooking part is and the serving part is on the other front here these coaches are really nice i can't stop saying it but it's true um there are tons of detail with the under frame as well as you can see down here the vents to the little lettering just there as you can see there is detail on the new wheels when you move it you can just about see it on the camera but it's very very nice you can also see the yellow strip to symbol that it's first class from this point all the way to the A coach Talking about the gap, uh, let me zoom you out and turn you the right way. That is the size of the set, so if a HST is pulling it would be like that gap, which is quite far, but it's not too bad. They are the new NEM couplings and you can swap them out for the Roco ones, but like I said, they sag too much. So I will be getting some hunt couplings, uh, obviously from West Hill Wagon Works, as they really do eliminate that gap completely. 
Obviously, it, they work around my uh, third radius and also second radius. Moving the coach along. Tons of detail yet again. As you can see, first class. To the little markers when the doors are open. To the buttons next to the door to open it. As you can see. Moving it along. This is the A coach. So it has the disabled toilet on this end. There are other disabled toilets on the other uh, on this set. As you can see, the little disabled badge and the letter A for the A coach, which is this one. As you can see, it does have a new uh, moulding for the Mark Threes. Where, as you can see, that's the new coupling. How it works, it's no longer attached to the bogey. It's now springed. I can get it working. So this. That's because I've got the coupling right up against the Buckeye. People say these look like the new Mark, uh, Mark III from Oxford, but there is a massive difference, I think, of how quality is. As you can see by the detail on the side, absolutely amazing. Also see the wheel there, with the new detail on that, which is stunning. So, I'm going to put this coach back on the track and we'll take a look at the new, well, take a look at the GWR set. So this is the castle set with four GWR coaches, Mark 3s obviously. Starting from the A coach with the bicycle symbol where you put the bicycles and extra big luggage in here and also the guard will also sit in here as well. This interior does have the green coat of paint on the inside and the cross country obviously has a darker red to match the outer as well. As you see tons of detail yet again along the body along here as well and the steps if I move it along, going from A, see that the sliding doors are still picked out again, but this time in silver. Yet again, the gap's quite big, but don't worry, you can definitely eliminate that gap. Um, yet again, tons of detail. The marker lights when the doors are open. The steps, the ETH cable and the power cable with the detail on the bogey. Oh, I think they're just amazing. I might get another set if I can or if I want to. Because I do have two GWR power car sets and two first great westerns. Going from B to C, this is the coach that has the new disabled toilet in it. At this end, as you see, no window and it's blank and with a disabled sign as well. This coach also obviously has a disabled sign because the seats in there just here are limited uh, for disabled wheelchairs. I have seen that in the new castle set. So I have been in the ride on one. But I do need to change that, obviously, when the lockdown's over. And when everything's back to normal. Yeah, again, nice detail. Absolutely stunning. That coupling isn't right. <laughs> I'll sort that out when I run it. So moving up to D. The last coach from the castle set. Same detail, 
just absolutely stunning. I can't say anything more about these coaches, really. Obviously, with 188 on the rear and 187 leading. I will compare these coaches now to the older Mark III's. Uh, not the pink one or the purple ones, just the other GW ones. As you can see, comparing them to the older slam door set, which is flush with the body and with the new sliding door Mark III. There is a massive difference in detail. Hornby didn't really do a bad job on the old Mark III's, but the new Mark III's really do take the throne here. As you can see, not really a lot of detail on this, more detail on this, and yet they're almost, I think they're the same price, which is absolutely great. So this is my review done on the new Mark III sliding door coaches by Hornby. I do hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, thank you for getting me to 500 subscribers and a bit over. I think it's amazing how this channel has grown and I really do thank you for your support. There will be a competition in uh, next month, June, and I will be doing... Sorry for the interruption, my camera cut off for no reason, but yet again, big thank you for 500 subscribers and I will be doing a competition in June. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.